Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video and another episode of the BD Footy Wrap Up and a very a very special episode of the BD Footy Footy Wrap Up and we only got one it well 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 we are eventually eventually yeah, eventually we'll, we'll talk about what happened in terms of the footy in both AFL and NRL this weekend but in this episode there is only one topic we're going to talk about and that was what that was about that was about two hour about almost three hours ago as I'm recording this um and after years and years and years of there's a fly in here sorry um of you know shortcomings uh, or will it, will it or won't it happen it's official now it's official Taz, uh, the issue of the reveal of the Tasmania Football Club. It, it's finally, it's 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 final. It's revealed. It's revealed. Uh, it's revealed, and I'm gonna t walk you through what, uh, what transpired in that uh, in that um, in that in that in that reveal uh, that was over in De over in Devon Devonport just today. Just today. Um, so, yeah, so, um, so we're not going to go through all, all of it, just, just, the, just the most important stuff, uh, just the most important stuff and things that came out of it, 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 it in, in a way, and then obviously I'm going to talk about my thoughts about, about this whole thing. So, so first off that was revealed, um, <clears throat> were the colours and, um, and it wasn't a surprise there, so the colours... What, uh, the colours that were that were chosen that uh, the chosen for the team are uh, to, to chosen for the team were 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 myrtle green, rose red, and primrose yellow, which is which is things that you, uh, worse you don't you don't, uh, don't, uh, don't describe pretty much. Um, which was which fun fact actually it was the first colours worn uh, by by the first Tasmanian football team in nineteen hundred and eight. So um. So it's a lot. So it's a long, rich history um, when it comes to uh, Tasmanian football. Uh, this, but it's a very special moment in, in, in for Tasmania. Uh, really, it's the moment where, as I said, it, it's final. It's happening here. Um, the name, well, that's not surprising. Um, it was uh, it was the Tasmania Devils. It was going to be no other name, really, pretty much, and. Um, and yeah, it, 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 yeah, and uh, apparently, from what I've heard, um, apparently there was a joint statement that came out between uh, between the AFL and and Warner Brothers that um, that gave that that Warner Brothers gave the AFL the thumb the two thumbs up for for uh, for that, and uh, as all systems go, in terms of that. Uh, the, 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 in terms of that, the name itself wasn't a surprise. To be honest, it, it, it was it was going to be no other no other word for it. To be honest, but uh, but yeah, and then um, and then and then um, and then and then the jumper design um, it it was it was uh, very good, good very interesting unveiling of the of the um, of the jumper. And uh, it was not surprisingly, it was basically like the, a map of the state of Tasmania with the T involved, uh, which was uh, with, with its colours in green, it colours were great, green outlining for the, for the jump bar, uh, the yellow bit for the map of Tasmania, and then a red T in it. In it. So, um, not surprising really. It was also not surprising really. Uh, it, it, it drew a bit of criticism from. Jared Whateley, Jared Whateley, um, about uh, when when it was uh, on free when when it was um, voice his opinion about it on three sixty j just about about probably about an hour or so ago, um, saying that it's too safe, which um, which yeah I do get Jared's criticism of it. I ha I didn't I didn't what it but I did hear that he said it was too safe. Um, we, I do get where he's coming from in terms of that. I mean, in his words, it's not surprising that, you know, the, the colours that they've chosen, the name, and of course the jumper design. 
obviously harking back to the to the Tassie team of Tassie, Tassie team of old. But uh, but yeah, but, uh, but yeah, but, but uh, yeah, but is, is it is it really not surprising? Really, uh, I mean, pro, pro, uh, the only thing that's surprising, the only thing that's surprising, re really, um, is the fact that there's been some, some criticism. Like, like, I think Jared's criticism, it, it, I get where he's coming from in terms of that, to be honest. But, uh, but yeah, but there, but I'm waiting for all the other Tasmania, Tassie, you know. Well, no Tasmanians, you know, not just from from Richo and that, but but also, you know, how other um, legends of Tasmanian football about about this lot. Like, there's been, like they mentioned it in the in the in the reveal. There's been there's been many many great Tasmanian footballers like you know Daryl Baldock. There's been Peter Hudson, Peter Hudson, who who's the only one to uh, who uh, who. Who kicked? What was it? it kick? What, what kick? What was it about? About one? About kicked over fourteen hundred goals between between playing for, playing in Tasmania and then playing for Hawthorne in the VFL back in the day. So, it, it, so those kind of and 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 of course you know Matthew Richardson as well. And most recently Jack Revolt as well as coming out coming out of Tassie. Um, I could list off more names if you think about it, but uh, but yeah. So um, so yeah, and then um, so yeah. So as I said, I I do get where you know Jared's coming from in terms of the criticism of, of, of the jumper design being too safe, pretty much. But you could you could say that about the name. You could say that the colours as well. So um, so yeah. And the year of which they are they are d d desired to be in the AFL in, it will be by twenty twenty eight. It would be, uh, so about four years from four years from now. So um, so yeah, so so mark, so mark whatever date is twenty twenty eight. You know, round one twenty twenty eight will be the opening game for for for, for the Tassie Devils, uh, in the in the in the AFL. Um, we're still uncertain in the timeline about AFLW. We still don't know about that. I would presume that will be that will, that will also come out very come out as soon as possible. I think so. So yeah. Um, now on to the whispers surrounding or uh, uh, confirmed all the whispers surrounding this. Um, it, it was revealed in an interview because I because I was watching this um, this reveal on um, on the AFL Live app, I remember, uh, I was watching it, I was watching it, I watched all of it, because, it's, it, because, as, me as a footy fan, I, this is a massive moment for, for AFL footy, um, as, uh, footy as a whole, and, uh, and, in the last part of that, there was an interview with, I can't remember who, who it was, I can't remember who it was, but, uh, um, but he's, but he, uh, I think it was Tasmania, Tasmania, oh, oh, let me, let me try and get, uh, get this up, I think I know, I, I, I know who it, who it is, I think, yeah, Grant, Grant O'Brien, the, the club, the club chair, the club chair, Grant, Grant O'Brien, that's what he said, he said that, he said in an interview, he said that about the CEO position, uh, he said he said it, it said it will be it will be revealed before the first half of twenty of twenty twenty four is out. That uh, that will be when. Um, so no later, I presume no later than July will be when the, the CEO of the of this of the of the Tassie Devils will be will be out. Uh, will be will be announced and and then that CEO they would want to have their what well, they didn't say it but tenure to begin in the first quarter of 2025. So um, so yeah. And uh, speaking of 2025, there was there's rumors going around. There's the possibility that that a state a state league side, um, could be up it could be up and running by as early as next year, which is uh. Yeah, which is a bit, you know, uh, yeah, I, I, I would love to have seen it at least by twenty twenty six to to get a, to get a slide together, but uh, but they already got a a side that's in the under eighteens league at the moment, so 
import that possibly into, you know, the state league side and that sort of stuff. So, you know, it, and all that. Um, the, the, the new stadium, of course, which has been mooted, is, uh, is currently uncertain as this time because on Saturday there's going to be a Tasmanian state election. And I presume if the Liberals do, do win that, then the stadium will go ahead. Um, if they, which is probably mo at this point likely that's going to happen. So, um, so yeah, uh, uh, unless someone like Jackie Lambie decide, uh, uh, decides to boycott, uh, decides to do something to freaking boycott the freaking thing, because we all know how much she, she voiced, uh, voiced when the, in the stadium first got announced, let's put it that way. Uh, but yeah, um, so, so before I get to more thoughts, there, there's plenty of other things as well, like, how we got to this stage? So, uh, so how we all, so how we got to this stage? So, uh, in the timeline of Tasmanian football. So, um, so we played it. At, so they played their first game of football in 1866, which is almost if I can, it's fucking let's say 1966, 76, <clears throat> 86, 96. 2006, 2016, almost a hundred, uh, almost 160 years ago, about 158 years ago, uh, that that they played their first, um, played their first, played their first game, the first game of uh, Aussie Rules football, uh, and then from and then from and then from then on from 1866 to 1988, they they were rep they represented um they they were at, they were in national carnivals they were in they were they were a main feature of state of origin back in the day um and then um then in, and then in 1879 that it, that it, it, Tasmania formed a actual you know performed a it formed a league called the South the South Tasmania Football Association which I still don't know if that if that's still still going on or it's changed somewhat but anyways. Uh, yeah, and then um, and, and then then they played their, uh, played their last. It was and then 1993 was the last time that Tasmania played in state of it played in state of origin. Um, and I remember, remember Matthew Richardson, uh, which was mentioned. He he played in in in, in, in that state of origin uh, last Tasmania state of origin game, um, and then it was muted. It was quiet for a bit uh, for for what. Thirty odd years, and then, uh, and then, thanks to Gillan McLaughlin and his team, uh, they revived the possibility that possibility again. And there was um, huge there was huge situations of where it was if if it was going to happen, then it wasn't, then it would, then it's not. And then came May last year, which is about nearly twelve months ago. Um, they, they, the, the AFL did grant them that, uh, it ran them that license to become that 19th team. And now it's official now. So, uh, uh, so yeah. So I think there's two, I think there's two, uh, 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 for, uh, uh, when, uh, when it comes to, uh, to round 21, 2028, 20, and doesn't matter if it ends in a win, loss or draw for, for the Tassie Devils, I think there will be one, uh, uh, there will be two things that would, that uh, Tasmanian footy fans will remember, will remember forever really. That is... May the third, twenty twenty three, and that was when, um, provisionally, they were, uh, Tasmania was granted the nineteenth license, and of course, and of course, March the eighteenth, twenty twenty four, when they officially got unveiled as the Tassie Devils itself. So, so yeah, so um, so yeah, so then um, and so there's. So yeah, and so and also they unveiled the logo as well, which is uh, not surprisingly a wild Tassie Devil um, as a logo. And it actually looks kind of kind of nice. Actually, with with the old you know with the old colours and and the jumper design and, and, and all that. But, but I love the love the logo. It has a modern modern look about it. Um, to be honest, and it's it, it look it, and, and the. The, the logo looks fantastic, uh, to be honest, uh, with that. Um, they, they, um, then, uh, then they had, uh, then they unveiled, um, me memberships, I would presume, right, as at this, as, as I'm recording this, they, I think they're available right now, um, available right now, 
um, as they as they said as they said to become a founding member of the Tassie Devils, obviously. So um, so yeah, as well as well as to everybody that was in the room with the launch, uh, they got their foundation you know jumpers and that just the, the first bit of merchandise really that was released by the club. So um, so yeah, it, 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 I remember um. And, and I do remember when I do remember Grant O'Brien even said, um, <laughs> "Don't don't don't sell them on eBay," <laughs> which is freaking it was hilarious, by the way. Uh, but um, but yeah, so um, so yeah, and, and plus also I want to want to want to you know um, re read out some of the, some of the stuff that that he that uh, that he said. Um, that that he said during the uh, during the launch, he said uh, it said it said along the lines that it said along the line, said uh, said this. Uh, our, our football heritage dates back over 150 years. Footy uh, footy is a part of a part of the fabric of what it means to be a Tasmanian, as he said. In 1908, our colours were were agreed, and our traditional colours were were, in, uh, were endure. Uh, our Tassie Devil is a free-spirited, powerful, authentic identity. The, uh, a devil that that embraces the, uh, our past, but fiercely looks to our future. So, so yeah, and you can see, uh, as I see that there, there, there's the logo as well. Yeah, it, I, I, yeah, as I said, it just I just love the logo. It has a modern feel about it. it, it a touch of old, uh, old and and. Uh, past and present about you know as i said about the colors you know the jumper design um and and of course the logo as well it just a bit a bit of that feel between you know past and also the future as well so um that's i think that's fantastic on that on that front there um so yeah so, so and what and also the one thing also I, for, I got I forgot to put in my notes here. There was there's the possibility that it, there's an agreement that which was uh, which was revealed by by uh, by Mitch Cleary who who works as uh, chief football football reporter at Channel Seven. He said he said that if the if this new stadium is not sixty percent completed by twenty twenty seven. There, there will be the possibility that I think, I think from his word, I, I'm not, I, I was confused by his words, but I think it means that in 2028 they will be playing their games at either at Blundstone, at, at Blundstone, or at, at, we played in Hobart at, 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 Bel, at Bel Reeve, or in Longceston, which is of course. Uh, of course, it's, it's, it's been many, many names, but at your park, as, as the as as nutritionists would, would say, your park, and then obviously at Bell Reef Oval, um, would be the venues for the for the for the Tassie Devils in twenty twenty eight, and then when twenty and then when it does get complete, then twenty twenty nine would they would go to their new go into their new stadium. So that was the agreement they were at the time, and as I said. We still don't know what the timeline is in terms of AFLW. We don't know about that, but uh, but uh, but about that really. But uh, but yeah. Um, so uh, so yeah. Um, so yeah. So that uh, so that's really really that much to go or go on really. Uh, my 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 thoughts on this one are. I, this is massive for AFL football. This is massive in terms of a nineteenth, in terms of a nineteenth license, the uh, nineteenth team in twenty twenty eight. You know, yeah, that's this is it's not surprising really on that on that front. Um, but yeah, and, and, it, and it also gives the chance that for and this gives it silent really because there were there were four you know four. Um, players that were that were chosen that were chosen in the 20, in the recent draft from Tasmania, and three and out of the and out of the four, three of them were were uh, first round draft picks. Uh, we've picked two, we've picked two. It was Colby McKercher who made his debut most recently this weekend against against GWS. Um, Western Bulldog uh, pick six. Western Bulldogs with Riley Sanders who uh, Saunders or Sanders. 
um, he uh, he al which or he also made his debut made his debut against Melbourne um, against Melbourne um, on, on, yesterday yesterday afternoon. Uh, pick seventeen, uh, which which was James Leake, um, James Leake, and then pick sixty two was our it was Ari Schoenmaker as well. So, so yeah, so we still don't. We, at by this point, like especially with McKercher and and Saunders, who who would, who I would presumably will you know will be up there in terms of by the time twenty twenty eight rolls around, they'll be potentially might be superstars. Of the game by that time, um, yeah, but, and and there's also some established stars as well that are from Tasmania as well. Like for example, um, uh, for example, Jake Collajasny from uh, Geelong. He he's also from from Tasmania, and there's also the possi strong possibility that he might because he's out of contract in this year. He might re-sign for another four-year deal, which is running for twenty twenty-seven to the end of twenty twenty-seven, and then that would allow him to possibly consider maybe joining the Tassie Devils in twenty twenty-eight when they do enter the league. So, but that is if he's actually he's actually not that old. <laughs> I do get that old pretty much, but um, but yeah, but this is huge in terms of Tasmanian football. This is huge for Tasmanian. If it's, the Tasmanian football. It's huge for the state. It's huge for the for the AFL. It's huge for the it's huge for the country itself. I mean, um, it's that a little bit step closer to becoming an official national competition. Um, to be uh, to be honest, um, and to be honest, for me, for the next step, the next step for the AFL, it has to be that twentieth team. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, for me. I, I will do a video on this at some at some stage, one way or another, a bit about what my what I, where in my opinion where I think the twentieth team is going to be. Uh, but it's been muted recently about far north Queensland. There's been uh, a bit about a third West Australian team, a third West a South Australian team. Th those are the ones that have been muted over the last few years. So. Who who knows that? But but apparently the, the AFL also come out on, on this and said uh, they're not they're, they're not planning on sticking on a, when when the, when the Tassie Devils came in and come in in twenty twenty eight they're not planning on um, sticking with the nineteenth nineteen team competition for too long. So I would presume maybe two three years max. In, for the nineteenth, for the nineteen team competition, uh, before they would consider a twentieth team, um, but uh, but yeah, but you never know really on that front. So um, so yeah, um, so that's ju that's just about all. That was that was really just about all really uh, from um, from uh, from uh, from the launch itself. Um, like we still like like. All of this sort of stuff is still a bit up in the air. It, 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 it all based on the results from the state election on Saturday, uh, which I'll be tuning, which I'll, which I'll maybe tuning in, uh, tuning into, uh, and or, or just keep track of in, in, in just in case, really, um, because you know, because you know, because as I said, if li if if the Liberals win. Uh, then, uh, then, then, then all, it's all going to be going uh, that uh, the team and the stadium, the new stadium, and I think I think it's in I think I think it's also in Devonport, I believe. I, I, I'm trying to remember right. I think they said something about tw in here about twenty three thousand. It put uh, Macquarie Point. That's the one, Macquarie Macquarie Point, uh, the twenty three thousand uh, roof stadium uh, it, in there. Um, it, 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 Will that go ahead? We don't know. Based, it'll be based on the results, as I said, of the state election, the Tasmanian state election on Saturday. So, so yeah. Uh, so that's the lot from from in. Now there will be a second part to um to uh, to the the BD footy wrap up. Of course, that is to wrap up obviously the, the this weekend's matches for both AFL and NRL. So tune into that. Um. So, but but like this video. Uh, share this, share this to any, uh, share this to anybody, uh, share this to anybody who's excited about ta about the Tassie Devils coming in the competition. Um, comment down below. What are your thoughts on on, on all on all this? Do, do, are, you are, you are you happy alongside 
of me and a whole lot of AFL, AFL fans that 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 is gonna that Tasmania is finally gonna have a team officially officially um, uh, by officially by Saturday um, in the AFL in 2028. Your thought, give your thoughts your thoughts on that. Um, and one and one one last thing, somewhere down there, somewhere. Uh, click on the big red button, just label subscribe because there's going to be a whole lot ca coming up coming up for sure. Obviously, because the footy is back, and a and just a, and just a bit of, a bit of a spice as well with the with the Australian Formula One Grand Prix this weekend. So, so yeah, so a bit, a bit a lot to go on 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 the channel over the, over this next week uh, week or so. But uh, but until next time, guys, I'll see you all later.